Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about um, some air filtration and masks. Um, I recently got approached by the people at RZ Technologies about their masks. And to be honest, I was a little bit hesitant because I didn't want it to be one of these these as seen on TV type things. But in all actuality, it's, it's a pretty cool mask. It's something that you would probably see at Kabbalah's or even uh, Bass Pro Shop, something like that. Uh, but before we get into why I'm going to be in the process of changing these out in my bug out bags and their other applications, I want to kind of do a brief overview of what air filtration, what these different masks do. Um, these these little face masks right here that you see in the doctor's offices and nurses and stuff like that all the time, these are the most basic and these are you know, basically a bandana kind of, um, these are used by medical professionals basically to protect their patients from, from them. Um, or, you know, you put it on the patient to protect everybody else from the stuff coming out. Um, while they do offer some filtration, the, the seal around your mouth and everything is just not, it's not going to get a hundred percent of everything, but it's a, a better than nothing type thing. Whereas the N95 masks are a little better suited for that because they're, they're shaped, I don't know if you can hear me now, but they're shaped for your face. And these, you know, you've got to get the right size, small, medium, or large, otherwise they're not going to work. But um, again, it, it's not going to be absolutely perfect. Uh, these N95s are NIOSH approved, and I don't, off the top of my head, I can't remember what that means, but it's, it's, the, good, it's the ones you should get. Uh, this also has the one-way valve to stop the you know if you wear glasses or anything it stops from your glasses fogging up now along the same lines as the n95 is this rz mask and these are are pretty cool actually and i'll, I'll go into a, di a few different reasons um why these are better what what they could be used for and all of that they come with the the one-way valve so your glasses don't fog up the filters inside um in the package itself it's got a pouch that you can carry it in and an extra uh, an extra carbon filter or depending on what type of filter I get into all that though but some of the applications for masks would be wildfires and smoke and that it doesn't even necessarily need to be a wildfire it could be some sort of terrorism attack like 9-11 something like that where there's debris and everything in the air um, chemicals all that different stuff while these won't filter out most of the chemicals you would need a respirator for something like that um, it's it's one of those better than nothing type things um, smog and pollutants we've seen in in china recently where they are telling people some days don't even go out of your house because it's so smoggy over there um, it would be good for for something like that um, pandemics and and like i said it, they're not a 100 percent 100 percent protective um in a situation like that your your odds are better to seal up your house and stay in your house rather than chancing it with a any sort of mask or even respirator uh natural disasters even tornadoes and and hurricanes stuff like that can cause a lot of stuff to get kicked in the air pollutants um mold stuff like that uh, around the home, which is is one thing that I'm going to be using one of these quite a bit for because I do a lot of work in the garage, woodworking, sanding, even varnishing and painting those fumes that, that will get to you, even if it's just the smell that some of these will filter out. It's you know better than nothing. And Recently, I've been using these masks as just a kind of a use it because it's there, it's better than nothing type thing. Um, I don't like to use the N95 masks. It seems to me a bit overkill. You ask Lisa, it's a totally different story. But So why do I like the RZ mask better than the N95 mask? And it's kind of twofold. It really depends on the situation. I'm not saying totally give up your N95 mask. They have their purpose too. Uh, one For one thing, you know, if I'm using a bandana or this RZ mask and I need somebody else to use one of those, I don't want them sticking my mask on their face. So they're going to get one of those. Also around the house, these are, are pretty cool. Um, they're, they're lower cost. These are a little bit more expensive for that one-time payment, but they are worth it. Uh, the one-time payment, by that I mean that for the mask itself. Then you can buy extra filters, which are a little bit more expensive than the N95s. But um, again, these are a little more durable. But the reason I'm going to change these out in my bug out bag is because they, they're just 
so easily stored where these N95s basically they're you know they're rounded and you've got to try to keep their shape whereas if you put it in a bug out bag it's going to get smashed the the rounded edges that are supposed to fit your face really well could get crimped um, crinkled all of that stuff so not very good for a bug out bag situation these ones again this is just as good to in my opinion anyway just as good as a bandana whereas these fold up nice and neatly you've got the pouch here that you can put them in and everything folds up really nice and neatly it doesn't matter if it gets smashed um, as long as it's not you know super super smash it's going to be okay uh, the filter itself these air valves right here um, can be taken off they're one-way breather valves all of the the different parts of these can be replaced from the website uh, the the filters they have a few different types of filters and let me get into let me pull their website up here real quick they've got the the low cost filters which are the active carbon filters uh, which run about seven bucks for a three pack so you're looking a little bit over two bucks uh, a filter and then they've got the HEPA filters which are the uh, better filters basically uh, especially if you have allergy stuff like that that run about 12 bucks I believe uh, 12.95 for a three pack of those so they are a little bit more expensive but these being one-time use you know, you could go through three or four of those in a, in a couple of days where these, I believe it says, depending on depending on how how much you're breathing in, how concentrated the pollutants or anything are, these will last 20 hours. Uh, you know, maybe in, in, you know, if your buildings are collapsed around you, you've got all that concrete dust and everything, you know, maybe eight, eight hours, something like that. Uh, but with these being one time use, if they get wet, if they get your your breathing, the condensation can ruin these. So um, I just like the fact that these, first of all, are collapsible, and second of all, they're reusable. Uh, a lot of people who they're the main customer base for these guys are like ATVers, motocross, but even firefighters and policemen use them for situations like that. So um, pretty cool filters or pretty cool masks. And like I said, the filters are. Um, you know a little bit more expensive than that but they are kind of worth it for the, how many you're going to use what you're going to use them for and like i said you want to keep those too but these these are pretty cool i'm going to get a couple for my bug out bags i'm going to get one for just my use around the house when i'm working in the garage and stuff like that uh, another another cool thing about these is it's not this is the the mesh model they also have neoprene models they've got a whole bunch and i'll show you some right here They've got just a, a whole bunch of different styles, colors, you know, for camouflage, depending on if it's winter, if it's summer. They've got the digital camo. Um, they've got the M1 models, which are basically the neoprene models. They've got, uh, let me see here, you know, all of these different styles, um, the camo, the white, the, the yellow and gray, uh, then the m2 models which are th which is this model uh, they've got a bunch of different styles as well different colors you know i don't know why you'd need a an orange one or a pink one but if you're not using it for any kind of emergency situation who knows lisa probably wants a pink one uh, but like i said everything on this is replaceable the fit is really it's really cool and, and even with the you know the neoprene models and even these it also, in cold weather, offers a little bit of protection against the elements, too. You're not going to get the back of your neck or anything, but the bottom of your face is going to be, you know, pretty well protected. And the fit right around there, don't know if you can hear me again, but pretty good. And it doesn't fog up your glasses. Uh, the Velcro on the back is, is really high-quality Velcro. It's pretty cool. It's not the typical Velcro, but uh, it works really well. So that's it with the RZ mask. Like I said, if it fits into your budget, they're, they're awesome. I'm going to take my time and get a few of these uh, for, di for the different bug out bags to work in the garage, uh, stuff like that. Even when I'm, when I'm out with the horses and I'm cleaning up the horse poop, that gets pretty dusty. And although I'm not so sure about how sick that would make me, it's just the thought of getting that stuff ingested so even one of these maybe the neoprene model even without the filter or if the filter isn't that effective a situation like that is going to be okay now in a bug out situation you're definitely going to want to have uh, the filter maybe an extra filter that you know is not used at all um, 
put it in your little pouch and then these will fit into your bug out don't weigh it bug out bag they don't weigh a lot pretty cool little item so um have a look i've got a link below the video where you can check out rz technologies the rz mask R rz industries um pretty cool little masks if you can fit them into your budget there um I, I'm going to replace mine, and I, I think they're great to have. Like I said, it's good to have all of these, not just one or the other, but this is definitely something that, that I like. So, um, like I said, there's a link below this video. You can uh, visit RZ, RZ Masks, RZ, RZ Industries, and also um, subscribe to the, the channel here. And I appreciate it, everyone, and we'll talk to you later. Until then, take care and prepare.